I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank my subscribers and viewers for watching my videos and posting their request. Now this is on request of some of my IB students who want to understand how to write sum and difference of terms involving factorials as product. Right? So we'll basically look into factorization when factorials are involved. So that's the whole idea, right? So here are four practice questions for you. Question is, write sum and difference as product of these numbers. So the first one is 9 factorial plus 7 factorial. Then we have 10 factorial minus 9 factorial plus 8 factorial. C is 3 times 9 factorial plus 5 times 8 factorial. And D is 15 factorial minus 5 times 14 factorial. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So let's do part A and B for now. A is 9 factorial, I mean plus 7 factorial and B is 10 factorial minus 9 factorial plus 8 factorial. Okay. Now when I say 9 factorial, I could write this as 9 times 8 times 7 and since we have 7 factorial, I'll stop here. I'll write this as 7 factorial plus 7 factorial. Is that clear? Now you can see 7 factorial is common. So we'll do factoring. So we'll factor out 7 factorial and we get 9 times 8 plus 1. Correct? So what we get here is 7 factorial times 9 times 8 is 72, which is 73, right? So we get 72 plus 1 and we could write this as 73 times 7 factorial. Correct? So that becomes the product form. Do you see that? So the product involves a factorial term also. So this is the strategy which should be applied to factorize terms involving factorials. So I'd like you to do it on your own. So we have 10 factorial, 9 factorial and 8 factorial. So we could write them all in terms of 8 factorial. So see, 10 factorial could be 9 times, I mean 10 times 9 times 8 factorial minus 9 factorial could be 9 times 8 factorial plus 8 factorial. Now clearly 8 factorial is common. So what do we get? We get 9 times 10 which is 90 minus 9 plus 1. Okay? So that gives us 8 factorial times 90 minus 9 is 81. Right? So 81 plus 1 82. So we do get 82 times 8 factorial as the result. Is that clear? So I hope the steps are clear to you. Now, take part C and D as your test questions. Correct? So pause the video, answer these, and then look into my suggestions. So let's see how to do them. So we have 3 times 9 factorial plus 5 times 8 factorial. I could write 9 as 8 factorial. I mean, I should have write 9 first, 9 times 8 factorial, and then we have 5 times 8 factorial, okay. So 8 factorial is common, so I'm taking 8 factorial common. I get 9 times 3, which is 27, plus 5 in the brackets, correct? So what we get? We get 8 factorial times 32. So the answer is 32 times 8 factorial, perfect. Let's do the last one here, which is 15 factorial minus 5 times 4 factorial. Now, 14 factorial. 15 factorial can be written as 15 times 14 factorial minus we have 5 times 14 factorial. Now, 14 factorial is common. And what do we get? We get 15 minus 5. We can also take 5 common. Correct? So, let's take 5 also common. So, 5 times 14 factorial we do get 10 here, right? So you may or may not take it common, correct? You get the same results, of course. So it is, there's no need to take this common, correct? Uh, 15 minus 5 is 10, so we get just 10 times 14. We get 10 times 14 factorial. Now what I'm trying to say here is something like this. Let me redo, okay? We could have taken 5 also common, but it really doesn't help. If I take 5 times 14 factorial is common, what do I get? I get 3 minus 1, correct? I get 3 minus 1. So I get this as equals to 5 times 
14 factorial times 2 was the same as 10 times 14 factorial correct so we got the same result so either you take factor out 5 or not you get the same result preferences concentrate on the factorial term to be factored not on the numbers that's what my uh, advice to you is I hope that helps feel free to go through this video once again understand how we factored few terms involving factorials write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best